Hello guys, so Generation Beauty New York is in two days and I am super excited because I will be there so if you see me, do not think about it twice, come say hello, I will be wearing a creator badge, a gold one, so maybe that helps you out a little bit. So um, I went last year, this will be my second year attending Generation Beauty New York and I learned a lot of things <laughs> from experience last year and I wanted to share with you 10 tips that I learned and that if you are attending this time for the first time, then you definitely need to know these things. So if you want to hear my tips just keep on watching so tip number one is what to wear and this is the very very first and most important tip do not wear heels do not for the love of your feet for the love of your body for the love of your sanity do not wear heels wear something comfortable but cute and stylish where if you can if you know sneakers are stylish for you then wear that definitely because you definitely want to be as comfortable as you can it's not so much that you walk a lot it's more like you stand in lines for long periods of time and when I say long I promise you the longest line that I stood in last year was makeup forever and it was nearly three hours I am not even kidding I actually took my shoes off in that line because I didn't know any better so I wore shoes that were not the most comfortable so this year I know better and I thought you should too so definitely don't wear heels wear comfortable shoes wear comfortable clothing the only thing I will say is that if you are attending as a creator meaning like if you make YouTube videos or you make Instagram videos and posts and things like that then you want to dress a little bit more to impress because you will be maybe talking to brands and to representatives so you want to impress them a little bit so I will say this definitely impress them with your makeup wear as much makeup as you want the first day mostly because it's the first day that they'll be seeing you but still dress comfortably do not wear heels I'm warning you you know what after generation beauty you will come back to this video and thank me do not wear heels the first day on saturday i wore flat boots last year because it was actually cold and rainy and i completely regretted it that night my feet were killing me so the next day i wore another boots that i thought were maybe a little more comfortable and they were but they were still not the best type of shoes to wear because we were just standing in lines for so long it's just like even if you have heels that are comfortable and that you feel like you can walk in them a lot that's fine but like I said it's not the walking it's the standing that will kill your feet so if you do wear like boots or maybe a little bit of heel then at least get those like squishy gel inserts so that you are the most comfortable and yeah that is tip number one tip number two the food so if you have been reading the emails that ipsy has been sending you about generation beauty i know that you know that there will be like food trucks outside but i am warning you do not waste your time have a good breakfast in the morning and then just completely skip food until the end of the event and why because the food lines are just as long just as crazy as the lines to get like makeup and stuff so you will just be wasting your time and that is time that you could be in a line getting a freebie or in a line to meet one of the youtubers that you want to meet so definitely just skip the food trucks maybe pack a few snacks little things to eat through the day but skip the food just wait until the very very end and then go out to eat and also bring water because it does get a little warm and you will get thirsty from standing and talking and you know walking so bring at least two bottles of water i drink a lot of water so i will be bringing at least three but it is completely up to you but definitely bring water tip number three is transportation if you plan to drive to the venue make sure that you go early so that you either find the spot or find you know do your research find 
maybe a parking garage or something and just be prepared because it will be very busy and it is a Brooklyn and you know anywhere in New York parking is awful so if you can avoid driving do that um, take the MTA take buses take trains take Uber I will be taking Uber um, I just think it's the best way the best thing to do really it's the most comfortable thing to do so yeah that's that tip number four this year they will be having so many youtubers for you to meet so many cool people and you know that's cool so if you want to meet any of them that's great but just keep in mind that those are completely separate lines to the lines that you make to get like freebies and if you don't know what I'm talking about you will get like this sheet with little squares that you can rip apart and then each square is a brand from a booth that they have over there and then each brand will give you a little freebie so keep in mind that for the meet and greets those are completely separate lines even if it is the same brand so the time that you spend in a line for a meet and greet is time that you could be missing out on a freebie so just keep that in mind um, most likely you will not have time to get all the freebies because lines are so long and it is so much but yeah tip number five speaking of freebies maybe you read somewhere that they said bring a suitcase they are not exaggerating last year I took this bag so it is just one of those Victoria's Secret bags that you get for free with like purchase and stuff. It's folded right now so it doesn't look that big but let me just show you. I'm warning you it's gonna cover my face so let me just show you. So I actually had that bag folded like that inside of the actual purse that I had and because I just felt like you know maybe they were exaggerating maybe they were like kidding just because it's a lot but they are not kidding bring a big big bag so that you can put all your freebies in every brand will give you like one of those like gift bags or something but then you end up with like 10 bags through the day and it's very uncomfortable so just bring a big bag so you can just throw everything in there and it will be much more comfortable for you and this bag was full both days so I'm just warning you tip number six so there are so many brands like I just mentioned um, but there are brands that are bigger than others for example Tarte, Maker Forever, Too Faced, NYX those brands will have way longer lines for obvious reasons so make sure that in the morning when the event starts go to the longer lines first because they do tend to close they get so long that they will close the lines and tell you to come back in 30 minutes so make sure that you go to those booths like first thing in the morning or if they're closed by the time you get there because i promise you they will close within the first 10 minutes of the event starting i know it's crazy so make sure that you go first to those or if they're closed just like keep passing by keep checking if they're open and whenever they're open take advantage of that because it is insane they open for like a minute and then they close because everybody's trying to get to those brands so yeah go to those first i'm probably like playing myself by telling you that because i know i'm gonna be trying to go to those brands first but yeah do that tip number seven so the event starts at 11 a.m both days 11 or 10 i'm not sure but it starts at 10 or 11 so actually let me make sure this in case you don't know oh. 11 a.m so the event starts at 11 a.m both days however to get to the event there will be a huge line of people so make sure that you allow yourself time to get there like don't just leave your house at 10 30 to get there at 11 because you will be playing yourself make sure that you get there at least at like 10 in the morning i am I'm serious I'm not exaggerating I tend to exaggerate when it comes to like being early but I am not exaggerating make sure you are there at least by 10 in the morning because the line just to get inside is huge and I know what you're thinking well maybe if I register early which is actually the next point register early on Friday night if you can 
because you will save so much time by registering the night before you won't have to make two lines on saturday morning because there will be a registration line and then the line to actually get in so make sure you register friday night and then on saturday and sunday morning get there at least at 10 a.m so you can have a chance <laughs> basically so yeah tip number eight was the early check-in on friday night and then tip number nine so about those freebies that i was saying i don't know about this year but last year not every single brand had freebies like some of them just had like trials and things like that so before you make a line ask somebody that just left the line like what are they giving that way you know if you want what they're giving you or if you just rather skip that line altogether because you will be wasting so much time i wasted time on i think it was I don't want to say the brand that I'm thinking because I'm not sure if it was them but I wasted so much time in one line and by the time I got to the front it was just like a color match or something like that which I can do at Sephora and Macy's like any day of the year basically so just make sure that you ask people in that line hey like what's the freebie here or ask the representatives what are you guys giving for the ticket and they'll tell you you know they'll be nice about it and then you can decide if you maybe don't like eyeliners and that's what they're giving then you just want to skip that line you know tip number 10 and last tip is if you are in a group of people make sure that you split up and that way maybe you can give your ticket to a friend and they go to a brand and then they get to claim your freebie and then you claim their freebie that way you will save so much time unless it's like a brand that will give you like a foundation where they need to color match i know that last year makeup forever was given foundations so you had to actually be there so that it would color match you and give you the perfect one so that way you will save so much time because then you don't have to make every single line you just split up here and there maybe not every line because i know that as friends you want to be together but for a few lines you can do that and then you get save time so that is it for this video i hope this was really really helpful to you and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because after generation beauty there may or may not be a giveaway i'm just saying i don't know maybe so make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye